All right, folks. Uh, I'm never, ever going to get over this. All right. Got him on the ropes. <laughs> All right, folks. God bless you. I just am so excited to be here. Okay. I want to show you all something. We're, you know what? Let me, uh, let me just slow down and let me just kind of slow down and calm down a little bit. There is nothing. There is nothing more exciting than the truth. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. All right. So here's what I want to do today. I want to, I want to help some people with conceptualization. So I, I noticed in some of the comments, some people are so locked into the, they can't get past the Elohim theme. I'm like, really? Elohim is just a word for gods. And the word Lord God means the head of Elohim, the Lord Elohim, which is the supreme boss. And a lot of people are so locked into that. It's kind of weird. It, I guess, you know, the Lord hasn't just let them get it yet. But, you know, you have to pray and ask the Lord to help you open your eyes. Even the word open your eyes in the Bible, in Acts 26, I've shown it to you. It means to open, to reverse 180 degree, turn the opposite direction. That's what the word open means. So the only way to open your eyes, because see, you're born in the flesh and you're upside down. So the only way to see is to be turned right side up. Because you're already upside down. And in this world, the only way to do it is just to, wait a minute, what's that? Why is the virgin a dead sheep? So no one can argue with the fact that the virgin's an image of the dead sheep when you turn it upside down. I mean, this is as simple as it gets. A fifth grader could get it. But people that have unconfessed sin and they haven't come clean, they haven't cleaned the chalkboard. They haven't gotten out the big eraser and said, Lord, I'm guilty as charged. I deserve my punishment. Until you're ready to come clean all the way, then I don't think you're going to be able to see it because the Lord won't let you. You got to come clean. Okay, now I want to give you guys some conceptual stuff because let, let, me, let me show you just how profound all this is. This is so Cool. Okay, so you know what? We all carry around our devices, right? You know, we have cell phones, people have laptops. We have all these devices, cars now. They sync to Bluetooth. Well, what is Bluetooth? I mean, you know, think about it. It's like, well, it's a signal, isn't it? It's a signal that grabs and locks onto a target from a main source. That's what a Bluetooth signal is. There's a main source that has a signal and then you have a device that's away from the main source and then you're able to lock on to the main source with an invisible thread, a signal. Let me show you an example of that because I, I can't wait to show this to you and explain this. This is so neat. Okay, remember the movie Lucy. Okay, so let me just play this and I don't want a codec violation, so... I'll probably turn the volume on after just a sec. So here's Lucy. She's looking for someone. And all these lines represent signals going to people's devices and all the phone calls going on. And this is a brilliant, This, I mean, this is really a brilliant, you know, representation of what's really going on. But I want you to take all those signal lines. See them all? Let's see. Let's watch. See, everyone is communication, and she's looking for one. There it is. Do you mind? No. What's that? Corinne, I'm going to drive. Okay, so... She was looking through all these signals. Let me see. Let me try and move this back a little bit. Sorry, let me get to it again. There we go. Okay, so see all those signals? That's all communication. Okay, now, I want you guys just to consider there's a race of beans in the pit. There's the angel of the bottomless pit.
And because you, an angel from heaven, got caught in a host body that's on the surface, there's one of those signals that goes right down to the bit. Because inside of you is a superhuman angel demon. And that demon connection is just like one of those Bluetooth signals going straight to the pit. And that's what controls you. But when you get converted, you cut the line, snap, and he can no longer, he no longer owns you. That, that signal's been cut. It's not that he won't try and break in again with his signal, but he no longer dominates the signal because the Kelepot, the host body, is run by the goddess of duality. Okay, that's, that is just basic Jewish Kabbalah. Okay, so here we go. So let, let, let's look at this representation one more time. There we go. Do you mind? No. Okay, so she's locked onto the signal and she's found the one, but that is a perfect representation. Now, let me show you something. Let me show you something about Bluetooth and let me show you the way this really is. Think of yourself as one of these devices, but you're flesh and blood. You're just one of these, but you have a signal going down to the pit if you haven't been converted. So there you go. Now, let me show you the Bluetooth symbology. So here's the Bluetooth symbology right here. That's the Bluetooth symbol right there. Did you know the Bluetooth symbol is made up of a combination of runes? It's The Bluetooth logo is a combination of H and B, the initials of Herald Bluetooth, written in ancient letters used by Vikings, which are called runes. So you see this one and this one? So if I take this one and I lay it over this, you get this. And I will, you know, simply prove that right now by taking this one right here. Let's see. I'll take this right here. And I'll go like this. And I'll say, see, there's the B. And there's the X. So when you take this one and you put it on this one, you get this one, okay? And that is the symbol that's used for Bluetooth. Well, it also looks like two triangles. Don't one's an H and one's a B. Well, let me show you something really interesting. So we'll take, we'll take the H and let me show you what it means in, in symbology. It means hail, esoteric meaning crisis or radical change. Well, let's go to the, the one that's the B right there, that one. So we, we have crisis or radical change or hail. So look what it means, birch goddess or birth sanctuary. So those letters mean hail, the birth sanctuary. Well, who owns the flesh? Who, own, who owns the device? Who owns the host body? Satan rules the host body. Let me show you the Bible. Let me show you the Bible. We're going to go to Jeremiah. Ready? The call of Jeremiah. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Let me show you the word womb. Matrix. Let's see if I can enlarge it. There it is. The word womb is matrix. Okay. So. We're caught in a host body, and just because it looks like a phone, just pretend it's a human, and it's walking around, and there's a signal going to a race of scorpions in the pit, and the one that runs them is the angel of the bottomless pit. It's kind of like an avatar system, because they see through your eyes, they hear through your ears. What do you think the all-seeing eye is? Why do you think when someone winks the eye, one eye is closed, but the all-seeing eye from the Bluetooth signal to the pit is looking right at you. I have people wink at me all the time. And that's because it's Lucifer going, or Satan, I'm not going to call him Lucifer anymore. He's looking at you going, I see you. And then when they go, 
like that, it's like, I see you and you're a dead sheep. Why do you think the largest altar in the world is a sheep with its tongue sticking out? Where are the sheep? Where are the sheep that got suckered into a host body system? Starting to make sense now. So this whole Bluetooth thing, see, in the womb, the word womb is matrix. Yeah, you can't think this stuff up. The most obvious truth hidden deep within you and and only you will ever know it. Look, it means birch goddess, birth sanctuary. And then if we go back to that, it means hail, like hail the birth sanctuary or the crisis or radical change. Now, watch this. Let me show you the birch goddess. So you go to birth, birch goddess, you see all the same runes. Look, you see the same runes right there? Well, sure you do. Well, let me show you what's in the birch goddess. Do y'all know what this is? This is the triple moon goddess, which represents birth, the, the, the waxing moon, the full moon, and the waning moon. It's a representation of a life cycle. Okay, well, watch this. You know all these folders I put together for you guys? Let me show you one. Here we go. Okay, so okay, so the Statue of Liberty, I've shown you, she's holding a penis in her hands because that was the, the way, hey, we're going to get these guys, these angels, and we're going to tell them they can have host bodies, they can be co-creators, and we're really going to be giving them the sting of death and they can have, we're going to tell them they can have sex, they can be co-creators, and they will never, ever die. They lied. So here is, again, remember the calipot. Now, the Statue of Liberty is standing on top of an 11-pointed star called a hindecogram. A hindecogram is a calipot, which means a, hu a husk, a shell, or a peel, a host body. You know, what's inside the peel? The fruit. Okay, now watch. Watch. She's standing on top of an 11-pointed star. I mean, yep, hindecogram. There you go. And what's in the dead center of the hindecogram? Well, you see this right side up, upside down triangle? That's called a transmutation circle. Let me show you what this is all about. You get an angel caught in it, and you change the very voice of God that he used to hear, and now he becomes deaf to God. He becomes blind to his God. He be because he got put in a hose body, which is complete and utter darkness. Chains of everlasting darkness. Jude. Now watch this. So let's, I want to show you what this is all about. It's about converting an angel into a, a locust slash scorpion from the pit. Let's see if this thing will enlarge because it, it won't stretch out. Okay, so here we go. If this thing will just simply switch over, please. I don't know why it's lagging. Okay, let me see if I can, let me try and just refresh it. Uh, won't refresh. Give me a second, folks. Okay, well, that is amazing. Guess what just happened? Our show notes server just went down. I think they don't like me. <laughs> don't worry. I have a backup. <laughs> Serious. Check it out, man. I can't, I can't even get to the show notes server to open right now. Watch. Hopefully, we'll see. It'd be nice if some supernatural happens. But, yep, see, it's just buffering. It won't open. I've clicked on it right here. This is it, 4321, special projects. Either I'm, Isn't that amazing? A show notes server will not open. Crazy. That's all right. So we'll go. I'll just keep going. Ready? We'll still get them. So this represents the triple moon goddess. The triple moon goddess is, is the, the stages, the life cycle of the bugs. Yes, there's the 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 above ground race. the The above ground race is the nymph stage, and that's where even the term nymphomaniac comes from. And that's why all these girls and all these images I've shown you, they have these tattoos with with bugs on them. You know what? I can probably find them uh, without using the show notes server, which won't come up right now. So I'm going to go to Google Images, which seems to work fine, and I'm going to say. Uh, insect tat 
twos. Sorry. Uh, in transmutation circles. on women okay let's see what happens okay so there you go so here's some of what I'm talking about so here's women with there well there's a that's a transmutation circle right there uh, same type thing transmutation circle right here's a transmutation circle but I'm looking for there you go that's the type of thing I'm talking about y'all. I know y'all have seen the other images, but kind of that fascinating. They have scorpions on it, so they put them inside. There's a transmutation circle. There's a transmutation circle, but typically these girls will have one of these on them, and they will have a, a tattoo of a cicada, uh, which is something that has you know three parts to its life. You know, it has the stage where it's the egg, and then it's underground, then it comes above ground, it sheds its skin, and then it turns into a flying stage. Like a dragonfly, like some of these moths, that's why they use it, because our enemy has a system that uses the host body system as a hatching. They use the human host body to hatch the race from the pit. This is fascinating that the show notes server is not working. That's crazy. Hang on. Okay, I called Dave the Wave and the show note server's down. So it may be an attack. It may be, you know, nothing. Who knows? But I, I'm going to wing it. Watch. So here's transmutation. Watch. You see the girl? She's got a mirror. That's a mirror. Her reflection is a bug. Figure it out. Her reflection in a mirror is really a bug from the pit. She's an above ground hunter from the pit. That's what she is. Okay, I know that's just mind boggling, but I can prove this all day long now. So this is very common for, you know, lots of girls. Why would you be a an attractive girl with this? There's the all seen eye, upside down triangle with another cicada. And don't forget these are insects that have, you know, this life cycle uh, like they do, like the locust from the pit. That's why they put them on their bodies like this. That's, look, here's another girl with a tattoo of a cicada, and it's her reflection in a mirror because it's true. As whacked out and as crazy as it is, here you go, triple moon goddess told you see one there's the triple moon okay ready birch goddess there you go ready bluetooth here let's do it real quick the h plus the b makes the bluetooth signal so just in case you don't believe that i'll find it again there it is again right there right here the h c nordic h plus the b equals bluetooth signal here you go let me show you what the bluetooth signal is there you go. Picture all those going down to the pit. Okay, and that's how the enemy's running everything. He's the god of this world. Okay, I'm not sure what happened. I think we had a little glitch. Let me go back. Okay, Cicada. So, here is a girl with a transmutation circle, and she's got the triple moon goddess. Okay, because she sir, she's one of them. She is absolutely a hunter from the pit in a host body that looks like an attractive girl with a really whacked out tattoo on her. Check it out. That's, that is a cicada in a transmutation circle. Let's just look around. There you go again. It's the same concept. Same concept. The same thing going on. Now let's see. I want to show you the girls that have mirrors. Uh, there you go. Then look. Here's a girl with a mirror. So the, ref the reflection is a cicada from the pit. Look at this girl. Look what's on her chest. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the girl that's got the triple moon goddess. You see that right there? Okay, let's do it again. 
here we go. Bluetooth is the Nordic H plus the B, and you add this plus this equals the Bluetooth signal. Okay, well, let's, let me just show you real quick. If you go and you look at the meaning of the runes, the H means hail, hail, and it and it's uh, the esoteric meaning is crisis or radical change. Now let's look at this, you know, the symbol like for the B. It means birch goddess, and it means birth sanctuary. Okay, back to the Bible. The call of Jeremiah, before thou camest forth out of the womb, I knew thee. Look, the matrix, birth sanctuary, because we're in the matrix. Okay, so now watch, birch goddess. So I just clicked on birch goddess. This is the birch goddess page. I recognize these. These are just different forms of the same thing. That's the triple moon goddess. You see right here above her head, that's three phases of life, beginning Full, uh, like in your in your prime and waning, waxing, wane, uh, full and waning moons. Okay, now let's go to the cicada thing. There's the girl with the same thing because she's really a bug from the pit. She's an above ground hunter. There you go. These are hunters. And that's why they're willing to put these things on their body. Look, why would a girl put this kind of a thing on her chest, a bug. Think about it. What is the largest altar in the world? It's a bug harvesting semen. So, I mean, if these girls are having sex, is semen going on them? Well, yeah, no brainer. It is. And what are they doing? They're hunting. What are they hunting? Angels. How do you hunt angels? By having fornication, fornicating with them, getting pregnant by them. That's how you hunt them. There it is. I mean, this is a no-brainer. Now watch. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to show you a couple images of girls that have there. See, it's a mirror. Her reflection is a bug. I mean, this is just so obvious. Look at this. I mean, this is insane. But you're looking at it. Okay, let me see if I can get the show notes to open up. or it's No, the show notes server's down. Yep. Wow, that's weird. That's super weird. And turn on Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to re request it to see if it'll open. And yeah, this may be an attack and maybe nothing, but I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I've got it all backed up. I can just load it to uh my computer. Okay. I'm done with that. I'm not going to keep trying. So anyway, so these are called transmutation circles that are on these girls. And uh, let me go back to the one we just saw. Okay, right. Now just bear with me for a sec. I want to find the exact same one if I can. Mm. Here's another. Here's another one. Look. There you go. Watch. Her reflection is a bug. Who would put a mirror on their leg with a in an insect reflection? Because they have the Bluetooth signal going down to the pit. As above, so below. Yep. Okay, now, because this video got thrown off a little bit and uh, I it took a little bit of a dive and I can't I can't fix it right now. I'm just going to keep going, see where we go with this. Okay, so now, rem okay, remember I showed you the whole system is about the, the enemy is this, this double V. Okay, the V and the V makes a double U. Let me show you a little video real quick. Okay, you know how bad they hate Trump? Well, you know, a lot of people, I, I hate it when people get off on this whacked out Trump ring. Trump's trying to do a good job. I don't care which side he's controlled from, but you know what the thing is? He's really better than most presidents we've seen when it comes to keeping your word and not being part of the boys club. Now, a lot of people, oh, he is part of the boys club. Well, he may be, but I'll tell you what, he's sure doing a lot of different stuff, and you can't deny that they absolutely hate the guy. Okay, that's a fact. So, watch this. Ready? Here's a guy in a club. Here's a girl. 
That's, see this right here? This is the problem. Ignorant. So this girl just came and took off his MAGA hat. Watch what she does. Ignorant people like this. I'm just trying to sit here and eat it. Did you see what she did? She's one of them. Did you see what she just did? Watch. Hang on. Okay, so watch this again. Watch this girl. She she takes the guy's Make America Great Again hat off because they are part of the duplicitous system. Watch. That's, see this right here? This is the problem. Ignorant, ignorant people like this. I'm just trying to... Look what she just did. See it right there? Did you see it? I told you. That's their system. And that's that's who they are. That's their identity. And they have they're literally taking over right now everything. So I don't think we're gonna be able to pull the show notes back up, but I'm going to go through a couple of scriptures for you real quick. Yep, yeah, this thing is is dead in the water right now. So give me just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna show you that this is the time of the end. The scroll was sealed until the time of the end. It says it in Daniel 12. Seal up the scroll until the time of the end. Well, the Lord gave me the unrolled scroll. I've been showing it to you. Emmanuel with us is L. Why do you think they hate Jesus here so much? Because there are a bunch of rebels that are being caught. Why do you think the great tribulation, the time of the female rival, they don't want Jesus here because Jesus is their conviction. That's the Lord God. That's L in the flesh came in. Anyone that worships Jesus, kill him. This is our place. You see what's going on? That's why they hate Christians because they're guilty and they got to kill every Christian because this is our domain. That's what's up. This isn't our world anyway. So here you go. Watch this. Daniel 12. And at the time of the end, Michael shall stand up. What does Michael mean? Sound it out. Micah. And what does that mean? I'm going to color it the same color. Who is like? I'm going to color it yellow. Who is like? L. See? Micah means in yellow, who is like, and then in green, E-L is the word God, and it's Hebrew word 410. See, the Almighty, right there, the Almighty God. The Almighty. Okay, so we know that L is the Almighty God. Okay, so at that time shall Michael send up, and there shall be a time of trouble. Look at the word trouble right here. The time of trouble, the great tribulation. Look, it says tribulation, affliction, but the first thing it says is a female rival. So the great tribulation is the time of the female rival, the rival of the Lord God, the female energy against the male. That's what this is all about. In the end, a woman will compass a man. That's what all this transgender craziness is. Now watch this. Okay, so now watch this. Let's go to Micah. So Micah is going to even prove it out even more. Watch this. Micah 7. It says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, hating adversary from the word as one of an opposite. Male and female energies are opposite. Uh, rejoice not against me, O my enemy, one of an opposite. When I fall, remember, nafal, to fall, to be cast down, to be cast out. When I fall, I shall arise, to rise, to enjoin, to lift up again, to raise up again. When I sin in darkness, it means in misery, destruction, death, ignorance, wickedness. The Lord, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, shall be a light unto me. Okay, ready? An illumination, which is, that. by the way, that's what's happening to y'all. Y'all are being illuminated 
the light is coming into you now and you've turned the world upside down and you're able to see and you recognize what the hell is going on. This is a crazy prison and the locusts are about to make their final phase of their, you know, their evolution and they're going to come out of the pit. That's what the final phase is. That's why these girls have bugs that have stages uh, you know, tattooed on them. And the final stage is the winged stage. What was that? Did anyone see the movie Alita Battle Angel? Yeah. They try and make you all sympathetic. Like, oh, young love Alita. She's so cute. She's so sweet. She's so nice. Do y'all know what Alita means? Let me prove it to you. Do y'all know what Alita means? I like to prove stuff out. It's my thing. Okay, ready? Meaning of name Alita. M-E-A-N-I-N-G of... Name Alita. Bam. What does it mean? Oh, it's just, let's see, where'd it go? No. Alita. Alita. Meaning of Alita. Uh, it means winged. See, there it is. Got it. What does Alita mean? Alita is a common name in Spain derived from Latin elite. Oh, meaning special. Alita, the English meaning is winged. Oh, because they're about to get their wings. So, or noble or chosen one, winged. Because the, they're coming out of the pit, so they're making movies that just represent what the hell's about to happen. Isn't that just insane? It's like, yep, that's why the movie's called Alita. And she's AI, artificial intelligence. But she's so human. <laughs> it's so crazy. There it is. So if you've seen the movie Alita, you know they try and make you like empathize how wonderful Alita is, and she's so great. Okay, now let's keep going. Okay, Micah. Okay, ready? Back to Micah. So here we go. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy, hating adversary, op, one that is an opposite. When I fall, when I am cast down or cast out, I shall arise again, to rise up, to enjoin, to lift up again. Um, when I sit in darkness, you know, ignorance, destruction, and wickedness, the Lord shall be a light unto me, illumination. And that's what's happening to all of y'all. Y'all are becoming illuminated. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, illumination. I shall behold his righteousness. Get ready. Then she, she, that is my enemy. See it? She that is mine enemy, hating adversary, opposition, shall see it and shame shall cover her. To cover, to high overwhelm, uh, because, look, for clothing or secrecy, clad self, shall cover her. Which said unto me, where is the Lord? See, here it is. Get over it, folks. Here it is. Where is the Lord, the self-existent, eternal Jehovah? Thy God, thy Elohim. Uh, so, see, a lot of people get really hung up on this. Okay, ready? Elohim, by itself, God's angels, magistrates of the supreme God. But where is the Lord, your Elohim? Where is, the like, the big boss of the Elohim? Where is the Lord, your Elohim? Do you, do you understand now? The self-existent, eternal Elohim. That's what it means. So look, then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, uh, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? So they're like the female rivals making fun of us. Where is the Lord thy God? Where is the self-existent eternal Jehovah Elohim? Mine eyes shall behold her now. Shall she be trodden down in the mire of the streets? Okay, so... Another perfect scripture, again, to prove it out. Now, let's go back to Isaiah 
14, just to say, make it sink in. For the Lord, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, shall have mercy on Jacob. That means the supplanter, because we actually supplant their system. And yet we'll choose Israel. Yisrael. Yisra means, look at the copper, Yisra. He will rule as El, Yisra El, God. He will rule as God, and the word God is El. Okay, ready? Again, how art thou fallen? See, na fall, to fall, to cast down, to cast out. O Lucifer, son of the morning, how did thou weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend, to ascend, to be on high, to mount up. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars, the princes of El. See, there it is. This is no longer arguable unless you're delusional. So Lucifer is going to ascend above the stars of El. Now, get ready. I'm going to take you to Ezekiel. I'm just going to keep slamming the enemy. The enemy's on the ropes getting the crap kicked out of him right now. Watch. Because the truth is what kicks the crap out of the enemy. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say this to the prince of Tyre. Thus saith the Lord God. Look at the word Lord. 136. It means the Lord as a proper name. Like Mr. I'm sorry. Like Mr. And it says, Where is the Lord thy God? All capital letters. Self-existent, eternal Jehovah, right there. Because thine heart is lifted up, thou hast said, look, I am. See, because your heart is lifted up, you said, I am El. See, because you're thinking you're the Almighty. I sit in the seat of Elohim. I sit in the seat of Elohim, of the Supreme God, the gods, the magistrates. Uh, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not El. See? Thou, though thou set thy heart as the heart of Elohim. So here's what happened. You want to know about eating the wrong thing, consuming the wrong thing? Did you know Jesus said, my words are spirit. I am the bread of life. That's what Jesus said. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. Okay, do you, have y'all had a Jesus sandwich lately? Drinking any Jesus blood lately? No, but you consumed the word of God, didn't you? That's what I'm trying to feed you. I'm trying to feed you spirit. Well, what do you think it was when a bunch of Elohim listened to the words of Lucifer and they consumed his words? Oh, his words are spirit too. They consumed lies. They consumed falsehoods, misbeliefs, and they went with it. Oh, is that what that means? You betcha. Okay, because Jesus said, my words are spirit. What are we doing? We're consuming the word of God. And what's it doing? Making us stronger. <laughs> we're stronger against them because we're consuming the word of God. What do you think happened in heaven? They take crafty counsel against the Holy One of Israel. Oh, they were taking crafty counsel. Oh, you mean listening to Lucifer eating his words, his words are spirit. Do you understand? Let your minds get set free, folks. Don't put yourself in these boxes. I see the same people leaving the same comments about Elohim. It's like, dude, are you serious? Y'all know who you are, okay, ladies? Y'all keep doing the same thing. And here's the thing. A man or woman convinced against their will is of the same opinion still. You don't want to know the truth. You just want to fight it. So go ahead. Good luck with that because you'll never beat it. The thing to do is say, Lord, you know, I'm guilty as charged. Convert me. Show me the truth. But I see all these people. Well, it says Elohim here. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And it's perfect. It's perfection. And But a lot of people can't seem to get over it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll let you figure it out then. So here it is. Son of man, say to the prince of Tars, thus saith the Lord, like as a title, the Lord, God, self-existent, eternal Jehovah. Because thine heart is lifted up and you said, I am El, which you're not, you're not El. I sit in the seat of Elohim. So see, 
So Lucifer is saying, I see, sit in the seat of Elohim, God's angels, uh, magistrates of the Supreme God, in the midst of the seas, thou art a man, not El. So now he's been turned into a man. He's caught in a human host body. Though thou set thine heart, look, set thine heart as the heart of Elohim. See, because Lucifer took over the hearts. He won over the hearts of some of God's angels. And they consumed his words. And that's called spiritual adultery. So they committed spiritual adultery in heaven. And then, therefore, thus saith the Lord, and the word is the Lord, used as a proper name of God, only my Lord, the Lord God, self-existent, eternal Jehovah, because it's all capital. Thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Elohim. So now he's saying, okay, look, because now you set your heart as the heart of my angels, because you set your heart as the heart of my angels, behold, therefore strangers will come upon thee, the terrible of the nations, flight of locusts. They shall draw their swords against thy beauty and thy brightness and thy wisdom. They shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit and thou shalt die the dust of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. So he's telling him what's going to happen to him. Wilt thou say before him that slayeth thee, I am Elohim, but thou shalt be a man, Adam, and no El in the hand of him that slayeth thee. I mean, look at this. This is, I mean, I'm, this is perfection. Perfection. The problem was people weren't willing to look up the different meaning of God. And that's what the Lord told me I want you to do. Because he was going to unroll the scroll and give it to me. It's proven now, isn't it? <laughs> They're like, oh, stop, no more. Too bad. <laughs> you asked for it. You wanted it, you got it. <laughs> it's like, dude, I hate bullies. You know, I'm serious. I got this quick story. You know, there used to be those times when, you know, I, I get bullied when I was younger. That's why I took martial arts, and I got good quick. And I took it in a place in San Antonio where I was the only white guy. So I was kind of like a beating post. And so, you know, I had to learn how to defend myself very quickly, fighting a bunch of big black guys that didn't really want me there. But they all ended up becoming my friends. So anyway, so there was nothing more satisfying to me when a bully would come up <laughs> and want to start a fight. I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, you know, usually I'm at the dojo fighting a big black dude that knows karate that's way more badass than you. You just got a big mouth. You know, and I used to just kind of like, yeah, <laughs> I used to just love it. I'd be like, oh, this is going to be fun. And so, yeah, then I would let them make the first mistake. And then I felt completely justified in what I did to them. And, you know, maybe I used to take a little too much pleasure in that. But, you know, after you've been bullied and stuff, the, the guy that really needs to get the crap kicked out of him is the bully. And guess what's happening right now? <laughs> the boy's getting the crowd kicked out of him. And the thing that does that is the truth. They hate the truth. They hate Jesus. Jesus is the truth. They're trying to maintain their lie. Look at the Democrats. Look at them. They're trying to maintain their lie. Oh, my God, just collusion. Oh, my God, collusion. Okay, now we can't prove collusion. Okay, let's search everything Donald Trump's ever got. Oh, my God, we got to find a crime. <laughs> they're, lo they're losing their minds. <gasps> it's like, guys, y'all have lost your freaking minds. Oh, there's a crime somewhere. We're going to find it. <laughs> it's so crazy. I mean, can you imagine if they investigated Hillary or Obama or Comey or McCabe or Strzok or Paige, or Loretta Lynch, or any of those people, or Sally Yates, any of those people like they're investigating Trump. Are you kidding me? I mean, you know, you would find all these pedophilia rings and all this sick, twisted crap, and they're trying to find some, anything they can on Trump. They hate the guy. They're losing their minds. And the Lord's the one letting them lose their minds. It's called the strong delusion here, that we're in it right now. They are literally losing their minds. And they'll do whatever it takes. They don't care. They're going to... They're going to get, we're going to get Trump. Oh, they're freaking out of their minds. It's like, you know, I feel sorry for them. Actually, I used to kind of, I used to really crack. Okay, so anyway, let's keep going. I'm sorry. Thanks for letting me have my little commentary. Okay, let's keep going. A lament over the king of Tyre, more over the word of the Lord, the self-existent eternal Jehovah. 
came to me, saying, Son of man, take up this lamentation upon the king of Tarsus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in thy beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of Elohim. Did anyone ever think that God's angels are a self-perpetuating, never-ending garden of angels that have, they can either choose licentious or legitimate freedom? But if they consume, they consume spiritual words or spiritual understanding, that could lead them into spiritual adultery, couldn't it? from the one that created them. If you go with somebody else other than your creator, you're committing adultery, aren't you? I'm trying to help y'all with conceptualization. It's so simple for me because the Lord revealed it to me. I mean, you know, he showed me all these altars and all this crazy stuff, and I show it to you, but he had to reveal it to someone first. So I've been over this stuff a thousand times more than y'all have. So that's why I have a command of it, and I get it because it's like he drilled it into me. So here it is, look. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. Okay, so we're talking about Lucifer in the garden of Elohim with every precious stone as his covering. Thou wast the anointed cherub that covereth. And look, it's to entwine as a screen, like to cover over. Let me see if I can get an image of something that, well, let me try and get an image of something that, might show you that. Watch this. Google Images. Uh, let's see. A screen of CR or graph body. Uh, a screen or graph. Let's see. Human body. Let's see. Let's try human body. That looks like uh, I'm trying. I, yeah, I'm something like. Let's see if that no. I'm looking for like, you know, the uh, human body that would have like, it's made up of screen or, you know, a graph. Let's see. Futuristic. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. You know, something like. Yeah, something like that. See, kind of like there's a screen over it. So there you go, something like that. See that like that? Okay, so, you know, for I'm trying to give you conceptualization images that you can kind of wrap your brain around. That didn't work so well. Let's see if this will. So anyway, so yeah. So anyway, back to Ezekiel. Thou, thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. It means to entwine as in screen, screen. Just picture like screen wrapped on your body. I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of Elohim. See, look. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of Elohim. And thou walked up and down on the stones of fire. And by the way, guys, we are all being built up. First Peter 2, you're all being built up into living stones into a holy temple for God to occupy. The Bible is perfection. It's it's scary how perfect it is. Okay, thou was perfect in thy ways until the when thou was created until iniquity, moral evil, perverseness was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise. Now look, that's us. The abundance of thy merchandise trade as peddled they have filled the midst of thee with violence and sin i will cast thee as purvain out of the mountain of elohim there it is god supreme god and destroy thee o covering cherub there it is okay so that is not refutable anymore i read every word as it's written 
Thou hast said thou art El, but you are not El. You set your heart as the heart of my angels. So therefore I will cast thee down, you know. So you got your butt kicked out because you set your heart as the heart of my angels, my Elohim. And so then the Lord Elohim, he, you know, he allowed everything to be created. And think of the earth as a quarantine system. It's a quarantine system. And he allowed them to, you know, in Genesis 1, let us create man in our vain show. And then he formed Adam from the dust of the ground. And then the soul, you know, the, the energy that's all of us had to enter into the system as our punishment. And at some point during the X timeline, during the entire history of the world, we all get injected into our prison suit and we have to either be redeemed or not. Or not. That's why even the game hide and seek is Ali Ali income free because that's what Jesus said on the cross. Ali Ali Lama Sapaktani, like L L. Why have you forsaken me? It's perfection. Anyway, I know I got off on a little bit of a tangent here tonight, but the thing is, the video that I was going to do with the folders I was going to do, something shut it down. I need to go find out what that was. But here it is again, guys. The perfection of the Word of God is not arguable. There's a couple other, let's see, Psalm 97. I'm going to show you a couple other scriptures real quick because they're on my desktop, and I'll, I'll keep it short and show you what's, Highlighted, Michael's been sending me some cool stuff. He and I go back and forth and just laugh. We sound like two hyenas. Let's see. Hang on one sec. Okay, so this is a great scripture. You want to see the you want to see Elohim and what they're being told to do? Watch. It says, The heavens declare his righteousness. First of all, the hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. Self existent eternal Jehovah. At the presence of the Lord. The, of the whole earth. That's Hebrew word 113. Adonai. Meaning to rule over. Adonai. At the presence of the Lord. The whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness. And all the people see shall see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images. An idol. Look. An idol. Confounded be all they that serve graven images. That boast themselves of idols. Idols, good for nothing, idol. And look what it says. Worship him, all ye Elohim. There it is, see? It says, worship him, all you Elohim. See, Elohim cannot be the creators um, per se. Elohim are not the supreme God. Why would it say worship him? All ye gods. It's perfect. It always makes sense. When, when you have the truth, everything falls into place. Psalm 96. So watch this. I'm just going to read this and go to his sword. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all Elohim. For all the Elohim of the nation are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. There it is. So watch this. So let's do it in Esau. Psalm 96. Ready? Here we go. Sing unto the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Sing a song. Sing unto the Lord. All the earth, the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Sing unto the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation. And means his deliverance because he saved you. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen and his wonders among the people. Look, for the Lord, self-existent eternal Jehovah, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all the Elohim. See, there it is. No way to argue with it. For all the Elohim of the nations are idols. There it is. See, we, we turned ourselves into our own idols. I know that for a fact because that's what I tried to do. 
So all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. There you go. So anyway, there's a few more scriptures for you just to slam it home. See, they don't want you to know the truth. None of none of the fallen want any of the other ones to get back, especially the leaders. They don't want anyone to get back. And you have, they've made merchandise of you. You were carried away captive. That's why, you know, in the time of Jeremiah, when Jeremiah was alive, they were carried away captive. The word carried away captive means to denude. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I believe it's Jeremiah 29. There it is. These are the words of the letter that the Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders that were carried away captives. Look, it means to exile, carried away, removing, to denude, to be made naked, to be stripped. Okay, so see, when we were, so we were in, in heaven, Jerusalem, the city of peace. And we were carried away captive to the earth, Babylon, the land of confusion. See, look. Now, these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem to the residue of the elders that were carried away captives. Exiles that were made naked to denude, to denude especially in a graceful, disgraceful sense. Okay. And to the priests and to the prophets and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar carried away captive to denude from Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem, it means founded and peaceful to Babylon. Look, it means confusion, but it also means mixed race. Uh, to overflow, to mingle, to mix self, to mix. So see... We were carried away from a singular thing where we were at peace unto a duplicitous system where we're at odds with ourselves. The Bible is perfection. Now, let me tell you some really crazy news. <laughs> things are things are moving very quickly right now, guys. And um there's going to be a, a gathering. And I the date, you know, I'm thinking May maybe. May is looking like the possibility, but I'm waiting to give you some details, but I can't give them to you until next week, until I, I have in my hands what I need in my hands, and then I'll start sharing it with you. But guys, this is, this is a guaranteed gathering, and we don't know what's going to happen. I'm never going to say I'm going to know what's, I, I know for sure what's going to happen, but I do understand the spiritual significance of what the Lord has asked of myself and Michael. The spiritual significance is not even questionable. There's no doubt about it. The two are becoming one and uh, at a location that's impossible. So anyway, so we'll talk about that. I'm going to try and get, you know, my, my, my show notes server worked out. If it's not, I have all the data. I'll move it to another platform. And we're going to start going through all these pictures and through a couple folders so you guys can share them with friends and family or make. I'll show you all how to make jump drives and how to drag it all onto a jump drive and leave it for friends and family because they're about to see the greatest horror in the world. I guarantee it. It's coming. All right. I love you guys. Just when you go to bed, thank Jesus for what he did on that cross for you and for me and all of us, because I didn't do something like that. You know, I know a lot of people tell me thank you. I, I really appreciate the thank yous. But man, I, I want you to, I want to point right back at the king. The king is what did it. He, he's who did it. And he's what accomplished our salvation. And I want to give all the glory to him. Because, oh man, my whole body quivered. I'm just a servant. And I'm just so jazzed that he let me do this. <laughs> it's so fun. It's like taking on the biggest bully in the universe. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, I love you guys. God bless. Good night. Yeah. <laughs>